So I'm here playing Echoes of the Living again. I am going to start a new game, and I'm going to play as... Uh, what's her name this time? I have a feeling the game is going to be exactly the same because we are not looking at a... We're not looking at a complete game here. It'll probably be pretty similar in the final game anyway. But the cutscenes would be different and all that kind of stuff. We started in a different location. A little bit different location. Or same location. <laughs> Okay. Those bars are usually on the inside of a building, not the outside. I don't have any weapons yet, do I? <laughs> okay, okay. So yeah, this is exactly the same, but I've got a much better idea where I need to go to do everything in the early part, so I will should get further along. I didn't use the knife at all, and it really just sort of took up space in my inventory, so maybe I shouldn't have even collected that. Restroom key. Not this door. Look how the glass stayed intact, but their arms are reaching through it. <laughs> Come on. Show your ugly face. Do you go down? Ah. Go down. Manager key. <laughs> Definitely a sign of the uh, how much easier it is to go through these games if you know the proper process because I was spending so much time just not knowing where to go <laughs> wandering back and forth now the way I'm playing now is much more optimized so I'm just kind of moving through much more efficiently Shouldn't have killed that zombie in here. 
That was a waste of time. Waste of ammunition. See, this is weird. Like, this door. I never ended up going through that door. Is that something I'm eventually going to find my way back to? Or is that just the... Um, just a dead end? And you'll never make it through there. <laughs> oh wait, what am I talking about? This was definitely a uh, a door I went through. <laughs> that was wrong with me. It's too early in the morning. These loading screens, that's a bit unusual. I guess it's got to load up an entirely different environment. Because there's enough memory in modern computer systems and game consoles to not have to worry about loading every individual room like you would have had to in Resident Evil, the old school Resident Evils. If I can remember correctly, those old RE games for the PlayStation 1... The machine only really had enough memory to load in, like in any particular room, could only really have, I think, six screens or something like that. Only enough memory for six different backgrounds. So if you're going to load up another one, you kind of had to go through the whole loading process over again. And yeah, okay. The animation for the loading of the door and all that kind of stuff is kind of been memed and stuffed to death because it was a slow process. But I mean, it was what it had to be in that console, for that console. How much ammo do I have? A fair amount. But in this, it's all just a 3D environment. You can load up potentially an entire area and at once, and then you can um, just sort of progress through it as you play the game proper, you know? I guess there could also be, since honestly, there's not a whole lot going on, so it's possible that just sort of streaming it as we go, but probably not considering we did see that loading screen. Alright, so I picked up the gunpowder, but I don't have any... I don't have any more inventory space, so one thing of gunpowder is kind of useless. And since there are no item boxes, I can't drop anything. Uh, what did I pick up the warehouse key? Slow these animations down a little bit. Although that doesn't look too bad. Although they are still a little fast.
Is there anything over here? Gunplay is a little bit faster than the old Resident Evils. Your characters fire the guns faster. But it's more a... Uh, what a ridiculous minigame. This is no way that that's complete. The, the characters fire the guns faster, but the enemies, like, it's easier to tell when zombies die. If that makes any sense. Once they hit the ground, you know, they're dead. You don't have to go through a process of determining if they're still alive. No, that's right. That other door was... I have no inventory space. So I'm going to have to... Well, I'll probably burn through my ammunition here. So... I'll be able to... Uh, no, not completely. What do you have? Can't do anything with that just yet. The weird way she turned around while walking through the door. How did zombies get into this room? Oh, that's how. Ah, shit. Put a damn shirt on. Ah, oh, well, that freed up some space. So let's go collect our ammo. Because I'm going to need it. <laughs> there we go. Got to be a bug. Use. Doesn't look like blood. Key. Serum. Ah, damn it. <laughs> well, I'll get the fuse and then I'll come back for the serum. Okay, so this was a puzzle that I had gotten stuck on for some fucking reason. Nope, I got it wrong. I got it wrong. Oh, 
I gotta get blue over in this direction. There. Okay, I got it. Oh, okay. Uh, five nine five three five. I can't use it for anything right now. Anyway, five nine five three five. What is this storage room key? I'm definitely going to need keys. Five nine five three five. Hey! Tell me you can't take one more key. Okay, backtrack. Because I got a couple of keys. Storage room key and small key. I got a couple of keys that got to just have to open shit that I've already run across. So let's take a look around. All right, not there. Uh, there's no doors in the space. Perhaps the sewer. Because there is a chained door in the sewer. There we go. Why is... Oh, okay. It's not a sparkle because I want you to pick it up. It's a sparkle just to show it's got a short. Nope. Um, no space in inventory. There's a door over here. Locked from the other side, though, so it's, key's not going to do me any good. I basically reached the point where I don't know where to go again. Oh, I was already in here. No doors, nothing. Let's take a look at the map. That is not that helpful. Which room of these? Which one of these rooms am I in? How about this manhole? See, I... Alright. I gotta collect this key. It's ridiculous. I had to burn a healing item just to have room to pick up that key to get me through the door. A lot of screen tearing in this room. The 
cop in here. That's ridiculous. The one zombie slumped over over the table there and was absorbing all the hits from the shots that I was firing. One bullet left. I guess the convenience store was really only to get us the lighter. Oh, and there's a door in here, but I can't open it yet because it's got no power. Turned around here. Where was the room with the power? I got a key I don't know what to do with. Yeah, I got a door I can't open. Let's see. And I ran back into this room like an idiot. <laughs> the serum. I never picked up the serum. I don't even know what that does. There's this room. Can I use this for anything? Alright, I mean, even though I haven't completed this, I think I'm going to put this down and I'm going to wait for the full release. Because as uh, awesome and kind of nostalgic as this is, it is an incomplete game. We're missing the voice acting, or if there is ever going to be voice acting, there probably will be. Where we're missing the cinematics, we're missing uh, some gameplay mechanics. It's got promise, though. And I'll be uh, checking in on this from time to time to see what they come up with, what they manage to do with it. So, so uh, thanks for watching if you did.